Приветствую вас, дорогие друзья, меня зовут Виталий, он же Монг. Продолжаем проходить Mass Effect Андромеду на Манжаре Linux. Так, что нам делать-то? Пойдем по значку. Если не знаю, что делать, иди на значок. С кем поговорить-то? Так, кожаная обмотка, циклон. Тут большой корабль. Заблудиться можно. Хорошо, недалеко идти пришлось. Пульт управления монорельсом. Поехали. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arks. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. <laughs> yeah. Rough ride so far. <clears throat> we'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Куда мы едем? Нексус какой-то. Общая зона. Найти сотрудников Нексуса. Чего удерживай? Uh, Что-то удерживай А или что? Или Т, блин. Что там было? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Mm -hmm. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? drop everything and report for duty and no one was expecting an arc to finally show up docking procedures are green across the board stand by to merge hyperion power into the grid the crew of the hyperion good luck i'm jaron tan director of the initiative 
You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Естественно, готов, раз меня выбрали. Без сомнения. I've been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. Ma'am. <laughs> An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Да, блин. Поговорить с директором Таном в штабе, поговорить с Таном, с Кэш, с... Удерживайте Ай, чтобы отслеживать. Нажимаю Ай, но он что-то не отслеживает, ни хрена. Да не... Придятина какая-то. Так, ты кто? Журнал, журнал. Зачем мне журнал? Воссоединение с Нексусом. Так, все, ладно, пошли. Вроде бы как отслеживается. Куда он ушел? Понятно. Огромная территория просто. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. 
They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. But you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC, me and Sam live on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Он-то не знает, что у нас в башке искусственный интеллект сидит. Так, поговорить с Сэмом на Гиперионе. Подожди, мы же еще... А, журнал... Как с остальными-то поговорить? Блин? Союзные отношения. Пропавшие ковчеги. А? Дополнительные задачи. Освоиться на Нексе. Поговорить с Таном. Кэш. Давай вот это вот сделаем. Потом с этим поговорим. Погнали. Ну тут поближе-то. Подожди, с ним я уже поговорил. Же. С ним еще надо поговорить. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Так, с тобой поговорили, пошли <laughs> со следующими разговаривать. 27 метров, 24. Пойдем сюда сначала. Ну, как он быстро бегает, блин, прикинь. Еле затормозил. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Так, кэш. 35-64. Давай сюда. Это кто у нас? Профессор Герик? А ты кто такой Профессор Герик. 
My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. What fields do you study? Here it's in the life sciences. I do planetary geology, oceanography, rocks and runoff. Aradana's the space and math ways. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Так, с ученым поговорили, с Кэшем и Эдисоном надо поговорить. Кэш, блин. Деньги, что ли? Эй, Кэш. А, блин, это тетка Кроган. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. Так мы же его победили, блин. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Uh... Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. Еще вопросы мне по... Ладно, мне пора. Хороший вопрос. Так. Где там еще кто поговорить с Эдисоном? Ага. Блин, ты у тебя так заносит, ты так быстро бегаешь. Затормозить не могу. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now I just want to know what happened with Alec. I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong. And now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life. Not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry. 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk to Kandros if you haven't. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. 
I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel, not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Так, ладно, давай это задание убирать. Что там? Приоритетная задача. Поговорить с Сэмом. Погнали. Здесь очень много придется ходить и разговаривать. Очень много. Подожди, мя, мне вниз куда -то. на этот надо естественно поехали вот 22 минуты мы уже ходили и просто так разговаривали ну не просто так конечно мы знакомимся с nexus с новыми людьми и не только людьми так а чё куда и он где этот отсек Ч ⁇ так нельзя поговорить, Сэм? Ты же у меня в башке. Давай так поговорим. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Nude. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. <смех> Какой ему толк-то от этого нашего симбиоза? That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. 
The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Ух ты, блядь. Профили. Профиль позволяет Сэму перенастроить имплант первопроходца для лучших показателей на поле боя. Чтобы активировать профиль, выберите его и нажмите пробел. Солдат. А, ну я же солдат. Развивайте боевые технические или би... биотические науки, чтобы открыть новые, более сильные профили. Понятно. Я же это в начале игры выбирал. А это кто? Навыки. Бой. Что, типа могу улучшить уже правящий выстрел штурмовые винтовки баррикада блин что за боевые средства выносливость в бою так вот назад ну и все очков больше нет подтвердить отряд Ора. А, подожди, автоуровни. Да. Понял. Я же автоуровней поставил. Все равно плюсики горят. Ну ладно, у них по одному осталось. Так, отправиться на свой корабль. Ну погнали. Найти способ разблокировать память Сэма. А, ну-ка подожди. Э -э так, 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 журнал. Чистого листа. Так, подожди. Пропавшие ковчеги. Ну-ка, ну-ка. Найти способ. Давай поищем. Опа. Он же сказал, типа, в каюту капитана сходи. Сэм? Что это было? What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Six hundred years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Liara Tesson. It's <laughs> тех прошлых частей. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss me, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. 
I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Но она, короче, не полетела. Понятно. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... Things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Шифрованная запись. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Все понятно с тобой. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni. And I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. <laughs> Normandia. Давай возьмем. И стали это. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Mm-hmm. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were pathfinders too. <laughs> when studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Ты же их видела, протеанта, мы же с одним из них даже сражались бок о бок в третьей части. Ты, блин. Так, что за воспоминания сейчас разблокируются? То есть память. Райдер, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Interesting. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. 
My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Helen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. <laughs> I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. That's all for now. Of course. Так, и что дальше-то? Искать активаторы памяти. А где их еще искать? Больше ничего нету. Что, наверное, может на корабль уже пойти? Искать активатор памяти, восстановить, найдите способ. А где их искать-то? Уже значков нету никаких. Из значков как искать? В каюте я все посмотрел. Вроде бы пистолет. Фрагмент аудиозаписи. Здесь запись. А, система же, блин. Там что-то появилось зашифровано. Well, that's going to change. 
It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. И что? Остальные зашифрованы пока. Ладно, пошли. Пошли на корабль, фигли. Где я буду искать это записи? Я хрен его знаю. Так, приоритетные задачи чистого листа. Все с чистого листа. Отправляйтесь на свой корабль. 40 минут. Пора, в принципе, заканчивать. Откройте дверь, блин. Райдер. Ты не на бридже, капитан? Мы поставили его вниз. Не можем позволить тратить энергию. Но Cryo-Bay и Sam-Nod не экземпт. И я сказал им, чтобы держать их руки от Алекс' квартиры. Ты имеешь доступ сейчас. Спасибо. Эй, извини за твоего отца. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Good luck, Captain. Как туда пройти, черт вас дери, блин? Или мне вообще в другую сторону? Атриум. <laughs> как он быстро бегает. Капец, блин. Не то, что в тех частях. Так, ну это у нас этот. Опять челнок. Крио отсек. Командный центр. А мне куда надо? Отправиться на свой корабль. Командный центр, наверное, мне надо. Чем мне в Крио отсек? Корабль где стоит? Явно не в криво отсеки. Если логически порассуждать. Командный центр. Нет, сюда показывай. Желаю палуба. Криво отсек. А, во, блин, тут еще есть стыковочный отсек. Черт тебя дери, блин. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Оружие у него, конечно. Какой дурачок как бы. На Нормандию похоже. Буря. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it! 
Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Okay, Hitra. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. I just said it. Блин, зря я эту катсцену запустил. Видос будет длинный через чу. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Да, да, как только будем готовы, так и полетим. Ладно, дорогие друзья, давайте здесь остановимся, продолжим в следующий раз. А на сегодня у меня все, с вами был Виталий, он же Монг, ставьте лайки, не забывайте подписываться на канал, пишите комментарии, всем пока-пока и удачи.